Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Fenda family. In this video, I am going to explain you IV characteristics of MOSFET. So, in this video, I will explain you two characteristics of MOSFET. One is ID with respect to VDS characteristics and second is ID with respect to VGS characteristics. And to understand these characteristics, you will have to go through my last video based on MOSFET in which I have explained you working of MOSFET as well as I have explained all the details related MOSFET. Here, I will explain you how we can have these characteristics and for that, it is but obvious you will have to understand all the steps of working of MOSFET. So, here also I will explain you that working, right. So, in my last video, I have explained how MOSFET can be there in cutoff region, right. So, there are two ways by which MOSFET can be there in cutoff region. See, one is as if gate voltage, if it is lower than threshold voltage, then also MOSFET will stay in cutoff region. And second is as if this VDS voltage, drain to source voltage, as if VDS, if it is zero, then also MOSFET will stay in cutoff region. Right. So here what I'll be doing is I'll be keeping, I'll be keeping VGS constant. I'll be keeping VGS constant and I'll try to plot. ID with respect to VDS. So, as I have told you, see to have flow of current, to have to have a flow of current in MOSFET, it is very much compulsory that VGS voltage, gate to source voltage, that has to be greater than VTO. So, as if VDS is greater than VTO, there will be formation of channel over here that is also known as inversion layer. And through this channel, there can be conduction in between drain to source, right. So, initially what we are doing is we are providing VGS greater than VTO and VDS is equals to 0 at that time current ID that is 0, right. So, let me, let me place that point over here. So, here VDS and ID that we are plotting. So, this point that is what VDS is 0 and ID is 0. Right. Now, see what will happen is now we will be increasing VDS gradually. Right. So, you see what will happen. Here, as if you increase VDS, let us say we are having VDS that is small. So, what will happen? Here, ID will flow. Here, ID will flow. So, you will be having somewhat ID current. And if you observe here, as we are having drain is positive with respect to source, channel width is lower over here and channel width is higher over here. And with respect to drain to source voltage, linearly ID current will increase. Remember here, with respect to VDS, ID current will increase linearly. Why? The reason is we are having channel over here. So, that channel is acting like a conductor or you can say channel is acting like a one constant resistor. Initially, it will be acting like a constant resistor, right. So, here as per VDS, ID current that will increase linearly, right. Let me show you that in characteristics. So, here as you increase VDS voltage, linearly, linearly ID current will increase, right. Now, see what will happen. Now, as you further increase VDS voltage, as you further increase VDS voltage, what will happen? Width of channel over here at drain side that will be lower, right. So, as you increase this, width will further decrease over here and it will be more over here. So, as width at one side is decreasing, increase in ID current that is not linear now. After some VDS voltage, after some VDS voltage, this ID current that will not increase linearly. Now, that increase in ID that will get slowed down, right. So, you see how it will happen in characteristics. So, after linear point, you will be observing it will increase, but it will not be linear, right. So, up to some point, it will increase. Now, see what will happen. If you increase further VDS voltage, at some VDS voltage, 
at some VDS voltage means at some VD saturation voltage this channel that will be point over here that will be like point means width is very narrow and that that voltage is saturation voltage that you can say and see here there will be pinch of point that you can say as this channel width that is point over here right so here id current will be there id current will be there but now id current will not increase further after that voltage right let me show you how things will happen so after that if you increase increase vds it will not it will, it will not increase id current so id current that will stay constant right now if you further increase vds voltage you see what happens if you further increase vds voltage that pitch of point now that is getting shifted towards this side right that is getting shifted towards this side that is how things will happen now question is now question is what is the value what is the value of this vd saturation or you can say vds saturation right so for that you need to understand what is that which we give it at gate you see we are giving vgs voltage at gate and it has to be greater than vto if you give vgs voltage which is greater than vto then formation of channel will happen over here and that channel formation that is happening due to which voltage it will be happening due to vgs minus vto see to form a channel it is very compulsory that you will have to give greater than VTO voltage means greater than threshold voltage. So channel formation over here that happens due to how much voltage VGS minus VTO. Channel formation that happens due to how much voltage VGS minus VTO. Let me note down that point. It is very very essential. Right. Channel formation. Channel formation is due to vgs minus vto voltage right so see vgs minus vto that will decide how much width will be there with this channel now here there is a point which is happening due to increase in this vds voltage right so at what voltage of vds at what voltage of vds there will be pinch of point so obviously that vds has to be vgs minus vto right if this vds if it is vgs minus vto there will be a formation of pitch of point now if you further increase vds if you further increase vds then this pitch of point that will get shifted that pitch of point that will get shifted towards this side right that is how things will happen so in characteristics in characteristics all you can say is this point this point after which id current is getting constant that point is vgs minus vto voltage or you can say vgs minus vth voltage right and let us say this is what the characteristics that we are plotting at vgs constant and vgs 1 right so this has to be vgs 1 minus vth right that is how it will happen now let us try to understand same characteristics by increasing a value of vgs right so what will happen so let us say now i am plotting characteristics by increasing vgs by some amount so now vgs2 that i am considering and that vgs2 that is greater than vgs1 then see if you increase vgs if you increase vgs you see if you increase vgs then this channel width will increase the reason is vgs minus vto that voltage will increase so vgs minus vto if that increases channel width will increase if channel width increases then id current will increase right so here so here if you have vgs2 right which is which is greater than vgs1 in that situation you see characteristics that will happen somewhat like this right it will be linear initially after that it will be like this and then after this point it will get constant 
so id current will get constant and this point after which that id is getting constant that is vgs2 minus vth right that is how it is happening so as you increase VG, vgs voltage that constant current that is how it is increasing right so here here one thing that should be clear to you how to identify operational regions of mosfet so in this characteristics in this characteristics you can say at vgs sorry vds 0 you are having cut off you are having cut off see this is where this is where we are having linear region out on this side we are having linear right this is even we are considering in linear and the current where id is constant that is saturation the current where id constant is saturation that is how different regions are there so if you want that in terms of numerical understanding then here you can say if vds is lower than vgs minus vth right in that case mosfet will be there in linear region right if vds if it is greater than if it is greater than vgs minus vth then mosfet is there in saturation right it is there in saturation that is how one can understand this now i am going to write equation by which you need to understand how mosfet is having this id current right so let me write that equation for linear region so here here for linear region for linear region id current that is mu that is mobility into cox dash that is capacitance of oxide with respect to area into w by l into vgs minus vth into vds minus vds square by 2 so this is what id current equation and that is what you will have to remember the reason is based on this you will be solving many equations in future right and in saturation in saturation vds that has to be greater than vgs minus vth right but if you observe here if you observe here see after saturation id current stays constant so you can say if vds if it is vgs minus vth then id current stays constant so why should you increase vds beyond vgs minus vth even if you increase current will not increase right the reason is that voltage which is greater than vds minus vth you see the voltage which is greater than minus uh, that is great which is greater than vds minus vgs that is getting dropped over here in each of region right so here so here to have equation of id current all you need to do is pore saturation pore saturation just substitute vds is equals to vgs minus vth so what will happen you see then id current that will be mu into cox dash into w by l now if you see vgs minus vth into vgs minus vth that is vgs minus vth square minus vgs minus vth square by 2 so you can say this will be vgs minus vth square by 2 so this is what id current equation for saturation right that is how one can have current equation now quite simple thing that i'm going to explain you that is id current with respect to vgs voltage so i have told you if you increase gate to source voltage what will happen if you increase gate to source voltage then this inversion layer width that will increase if this inversion layer width that increases obviously id current will increase right so so if you if you want that then you can place that in this equation c1 right but simply if i draw then you see how it will looks like so it will be like you see initially here here there should be vgs right initially current will not be there and then as you increase vgs means if you have vgs which is greater than vto or vth then then there will be initiation of id current 
and then it will increase so that is how it is increasing right now if i say this is regarding saturation if i say this is regarding saturation like see the characteristics that we are talking about for this region as if you increase vgs you see current is increasing right so here you can observe that where condition is vgs that has to be greater than vtl for saturation right now i'm talking about but what will happen in case of linear so in case of linear in case of linear you see characteristics that will be like this in linear in linear see we id current that will be less compared to saturation right so shape will be like this where lower id current is there with respect to vgs so that is how it will be there in linear right but in terms of equation you will have to understand this equations only by which you will be solving questions i hope it is clear to you still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video